guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mel here. In today's video, I am trying on all the makeup products that I showed you in my last Ulta haul. So a lot of these products I discovered on like social media, TikTok and all that, and they look like they're pretty viral products. So I'm really excited to try them all out today with you guys. I will link the video up here if you're interested in watching that Ulta haul before we dive into this. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. You can do that by hitting that little circle thing right there. So subscribe to my channel. I do all things beauty. I upload once a week, sometimes twice a week. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Like, don't mind my crazy hair. This is my hair extensions naturally dry because I did not feel like doing them. Okay, so I have nothing on my skin, just my skincare. It's just a moisturizer and some SPFs. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my brows because I'm gonna try, emphasis on try. I'm gonna try to do like a fluffy brow with the e.l.f. brow lift. So I've watched a lot of videos where people do their brows first, so like foundation and concealer doesn't get in the goop and glue. So I'm gonna try this with the brush that's supposed to go with it. I feel like, it just depends on your brow hairs. Not everyone's gonna get the same effect. Now my brows are microbladed. We're on, we're coming up on a year. So they're pretty faded. They've lost some structure, but I plucked away all my brows when I was a teenager and they never really grew back nice. So that's why I got it microbladed. But like the fluffy natural brow trend is really big right now. So let's try it. Nice clear gel. So I'm just gonna like read what the directions say. Bend spoolie, end of applicator, and gently dip into gel. On clean brows, brush up and out while pressing down for a desired shape. Use the flat end, press brows into place until set. Okay, bent. I guess I'm just gonna, whoa, very jelly. Okay, I'm scared. Wow. Whoa. That actually freaking works. You know how many eye brow gels I've tried in the past month? Like a clear brow gel that doesn't do this? I'm so glad I got this. Okay, interesting. Well, I don't wanna do anything crazy, but. Wow. And then I think we use this side to smush them down. Whoa, very cool. But I want to like soften the top. Now, do you do it after the gel dries or once they're all in place? I kinda wanna soften the look. There we go. Soften it and then smush. We'll see how well it holds. I'm gonna do the other side real quick. Didn't even put that much on the spoolie. Now I've never tried the ABH one that this is supposed to be a dupe for, but this is freaking good. A lot of gels don't hold my brows in place because I feel like my brows grow, at least for the front, they grow up straight, but the rest of the brow, they grow like at an angle a little bit down. So this is actually pretty impressive. I'm gonna let them dry. Now I think I'm supposed to clean up the edges with maybe a Q-tip. And then I'm gonna fill them in with a brow pen to just add more strokes. Just clean her up. Now it does feel a little sticky, but that's the purpose, right? So I'm gonna let them dry. Now this wasn't in my Ulta haul, but I've been loving the NYX brow pen and I'm just gonna add a few more strokes once this completely dries down. All right, what do we think? Can I pull off this trend? Next, I have the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I got the teal one. So grip makeup, lock in hydration with this hyaluronic acid infused clear gel primer. Do we texture grips on the skin without clogging pores? Use fingertips to apply, pat into skin, allow to set for 30 seconds to absorb and activate grip prior to makeup application. Now I have used the Hydro Milk gr Grimer, gripping primer in the past. So let's see if it's similar. Okay. Ooh, whoa. I don't know how much to use for this, but it's going all over my face. It does feel nice, cooling, and hydrating. Whoa, yeah. Very sticky. Yeah. 
So I do have dry acne prone skin, so hopefully this doesn't irritate my acne and make it worse. So I don't have a foundation for the next product for our base, but I do have the Tula Radiant Skin Brightening Serum. It's supposed to be like a tinted SPF. So we are gonna use this for our base. And then I'm also gonna use it with the e.l.f. Complexion Duo. I believe it's supposed to be a dupe for the It Cosmetics one that I have, which I love that brush. So hopefully this is just as good. Now there's no directions on the package how to apply it. So I believe you could probably use, use your hands kind of like a skincare product. You can use brush, you can use sponge. I'm probably gonna even try out this brush. We'll see how this goes. Again, I'm in the shade 11. I think it's light, medium, neutral. Packaging is really pretty. Although this cap is gonna drive my OCD nuts. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna apply it to the skin on this side and see how it goes. And I'm gonna use the big end on that brush. I'm gonna be careful around the brows. That's why I don't like doing my brows first because I hate being careful around them. <laughs> Okay, so that's one layer. That's really pretty. Blended in really nice. I do like this brush. Although I will have to say, I feel like this one's a little more denser where this one's a little more flimsy, but still pretty good. You have to try it a few more times with other products. I think I like that. We're gonna stay with the soft look today. So I'm gonna build it up just a little bit. Didn't cover the acne, but that's okay because it's a tinted sunscreen. I don't expect it to have like a lot of coverage, but the shade's pretty good for me. It feels really nice on the skin, blended out really well. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my face with it. Oh. Okay, so there's one layer on the skin. Looks really nice, super glowy. I, the only thing about this brow thing, I just like feel like I mess up the brows when I'm applying product around them. So the brows did move when I kind of used a brush around them. So be careful if you don't want your brows to move with foundation brushes or whatnot. So, so far I really like this. I think it'll be really nice, quick and easy right before I head into work just to throw on my face, even out the skin. Feels nice and comfortable, feels hydrating while giving some coverage and just to help match my face to my self-tan body. I will have to say this was pretty expensive. This was $40 and it's only one fluid ounce. So it's like the price of a foundation, so seems a little expensive if you use it every day you might go through it pretty quickly but maybe it's worth it we will see i do really like this brush a lot let's just do the concealer first kind of like a traditional makeup look so i got the urban decay quickie concealer 40w0 this is what it looks like i'll try one side with the little brush on there okay so it's a nice little dofa Just gonna do my normal placement. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna try the brush to see how that goes. Hmm. I don't know if I love this brush, to be honest. In the... It's weird. It's like I have to get used to it. I'm used to my really soft other one. The brush is okay. I'm just, I'm just not loving that. So I'm just gonna use my typical concealer brush. So much softer and flexible. Okay, it does dry down really quick. So you need to blend fast. All right, that's nice. Not too brightening, that's okay. I kind of picked it so it was in between my self tan and natural colored so I can match depending on my shade. Let's try the other side. So it definitely dries down pretty quickly. It's not like a super creamy formula, but it looks really pretty. So we'll see how that goes. I think the color is pretty good right now. Don't know if I could wear this at my full natural skin color, but I do really like this so far. We'll just see how it goes. It did a really good job covering the acne. So, so far so good. Okay, next I'm gonna compare the two contour wands I got. So the first one I got is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Beauty Wand. I definitely picked the wrong shade 
shade so this might not be the best comparison side by side but I got tan deep I would just saw the word tan and I was just like yeah I want to be tan but then I didn't realize it also said deep and this is pretty dark for me so I don't know if this is gonna work and then I got the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour Wand. I got this in Cool Bronze. So the e.l.f. one says natural looking sculpted complexion, lightweight buildable formula. Squeeze wand gently, then glide cushion tip along cheekbones. Quickly blend. And then the Tarte one says twist to unlock. So the Tarte one does have a locking mechanism. Dot under cheekbones, blend for a perfectly sculpted look. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the elf one. So again, this is so dark. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna start with one dot. Okay, I'm gonna slowly build it up. <laughs> I'm scared. One's out really nice. I would say it's not the creamiest formula, but okay, I can, I can make this work, I think, if I'm definitely really self-tanned. Just have to use a little bit. Okay, I would say it doesn't blend out the best. It's getting a little patchy. Let's try it for the forehead. All right, it worked better on the forehead. So maybe it's just, it's probably just user error. <laughs> okay, so not bad. I feel like the color I can work with as long as I use a little bit. It looks nice. It wasn't the easiest to blend out. So let's try the Tarte one. So there's a locking, so you can unlock it and lock it. So I'm gonna unlock it, squeeze some up. I'm just gonna try two dots. I should probably try a different brush, okay. Ooh, this one's way more creamier. Okay, blends out a lot better, a lot more easy. Build it up. That's a nice color. Okay, let's do it on the forehead. never gonna remember to lock that <laughs> okay comparison i definitely right out of the bat prefer the tart one just because it gives the same exact effect but it's so much creamier so much easier to blend and it just feels a little nicer and i definitely like the applicator better than the elf one this one's good it wasn't the easiest to blend i'll have to work with it and it might be some of the products underneath i mean it gives a pretty similar effect so if you're on a budget, this is still a good option, but I just really prefer this because a lot of makeup can cling to my skin and sometimes they don't blend out the best. So this didn't cling and it really blended out really nice. And also there's a huge price difference. This was like, I think $33 and I think this was 10. So the next product I'm so excited about, the Juvia's Blush. When I swatched this on my hand, I was like blown away. So this is the Liquid Blush by Juvia's Place. I got the shade Peach Rose. Lightweight multi-use liquid blush. Creates effortless radiance and a dewy finish for cheeks. Highly blendable. Hydrates the skin with vitamin E for a natural looking glow. Cruelty free, vegan, and made without gluten, parabens, and non comedogenic ingredients. Love that. Okay, when I swatched this on my hand, it was super pigmented. Like, I think more pigmented than the Rare Beauty one. So, I am going to start out with a little bit. <laughs> the packaging is super cute and it's a nice big dofa. So, I'm just going to put a little dot and work with it. See what I mean, how pigmented that is just from a little dot. Wow, okay. So it doesn't have like the most luminous finish and it kind of like blended out feeling a little matte, but it does have a nice glow. It looks super pretty, I love this color. I love that it's super pigmented. That means even though it was $18, it's gonna last you a long time because you only need it a little bit and you get a lot of product. Wow, this might be my new favorite blush. Especially for summer when you kind of want that sun-kissed, sunburnt look. Oh my gosh, that's super pretty. Wow. And if you have a deeper skin tone, these will definitely be really pretty because they're super vibrant and pigmented. So it would definitely work on darker skin tones. And they had so many shades. Although a lot of the shades were sold out at my Ulta, but there are a lot of shades to choose from. So nice. I absolutely love this on first impression. I'm just gonna leave it at that considering we already have our concealer on. Sometimes if I put my contour and liquid blush on first and then concealer, I can 
can go a little heavier because the concealer will kind of like mellow it down, but we didn't do that today. So I'm just gonna take my concealer brush, whatever's left over, and just try to soften the edges just around my eyes. So there's not a super harsh difference. <laughs> Now I don't have a new powder, so I'm just gonna quickly powder my face, apply some bronzer, a light thing, a blush. I don't have any new like powder products. And then I'll be back to move on to some other things. Okay guys, I'm back. I just kind of applied some powder products. Now, I will have to say these brows, I'm telling you it's my brows. I don't think it's the product. My brows just like won't stay in this like cute looking fluffy style. I just had to keep pressing them down with the spatula. Maybe now they'll stay because I'm done applying face makeup, but I do really like that product. Also, I could probably try applying more like brushing it in all over and then smushing them down. I'm gonna have to try a few different tricks, but it's my brows. I'm 99% sure. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna apply some mascaras. So I have two here. I have the e.l.f. Lash It Loud Volumizing Mascara. I got this in deep brown because I've been really wanting a brown mascara for summer. Brown is really pretty when you have really nice tan glowy skin and it's just like, it just adds to like that soft glowy summer kiss look that you're trying but not trying. <laughs> That's why I picked up the e.l.f. one because it's pretty affordable. And then I got Milani Highly Rated Anti-Gravity Mascara. Long wear, smudge proof, clump proof. Lashes that defy gravity. Wide eyed lash look with out of this world results. Volume, length, and lift. Band out lashes, no clumps. So I'm gonna apply this to my top lashes and then I'll use the brown on the bottom just so we can try both of them out and I don't have one black eye and one brown eye. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the anti-gravity. Now I have tried the highly rated tubing mascara from Lonnie and I really like that. But sometimes I don't always want a tubing mascara, you know? Okay, there's the wand. It looks like a volumizing wand. It's more of a drier formula. It's not very liquidy or wet. Okay, so there's one coat. So it's definitely volumizing. I tend to like mascaras that are more lengthening and separation just because I do have a pretty good lash line. But this is nice. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I wouldn't say it really curls them either or like holds a curl. So I do really like it. I think it actually does give nice separation, a lot of volume. So it looks really pretty. It's not super lengthening though, but I do really like this. So it's a good mascara. We'll see how the day goes to see if it smudges, flakes, or if it falls at all. Okay, now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Lash It. Lash It Loud in brown. So more of a slim wand. Again, this is in the deep brown. It just gives like a softer look to the lashes. Hey, wow, that did really good for the bottom lashes. So again, it's just like a softer look and I really like that. I'm excited to try this on my top lashes with, with like a really bronzy, glowy makeup look. Ooh, I really like this. So far so good with the mascaras. Man, we haven't had a fail. I will have to update you guys on that fourth gray lip mask in the coconut that I got. The formula is really nice. It's silky, creamy, and when I wake up in the morning, my lips are soft and feel hydrated. So the only downside of this that probably will make me not want to repurchase it is there's no scent to coconut. There's no coconut scent at all. You know, when I would put a lip mask on at night, I would prefer to have like a nice scent, especially in the summertime. I love tropical and coconut and this kind of let me down with no scent but the overall product and formula is really nice and the price is only ten dollars so i just probably won't be repurchasing this 
Okay, last but not least for the makeup products is the Dior Lip Oil, Lip Glow Oil in the shade Cherry. I'm not gonna do anything to my lips. We're just having a natural day. I just love the packaging. Really nice formula. I like the color. It's like a light pink. It has a nice light minty feel. It's so pretty. I love this. I love this color. I think it's really pretty for like spring and summer. Juicy, glossy. Is it worth $40? I mean, maybe get one. Just one once if you have the money. But I do think the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drips are pretty comparable. Now they don't have like that minty feel and that luxurious packaging. But they're a really good lip oil that's pretty similar to this. So if you're more in a budget, check those out. But... I really like this. I hate to say it, but I love it. <laughs> all right, guys. So that was it for all the makeup. I think I had a lot of wins. I honestly loved everything I tried. So I guess the viral products are viral for a reason. <laughs> Let's narrow down to what are my favorite. I'm going to pick this, this, and this. Hmm. This is tough. And obviously I need to see how all these products wear throughout the day. This is just based off first impression. Usually my thoughts and opinions change after using the products a few times and wearing them. This is just kind of like my based off first impressions. My top three, I love this blush. I'm obsessed. I am definitely gonna purchase one in another shade. I love this and I use a tiny dot, so I'm sure you can build it up to be even more pigmented and beautiful. It blended out nice. It's not super glowy, it's not super matte. It's like that perfect natural finish. And if you have a lot of texture like me, it didn't emphasize any texture. I absolutely love this. And I'm gonna have to say I love this Tarte contour wand. The e.l.f. one was nice, I just prefer this one. It just is so creamy, it blends out so nice. I like the color. It's a nice cool tone contour shade for me. I didn't apply a lot today, but I'm definitely gonna have to play around with it more, but I really like it. So I do like the locking mechanism of this product. That way, if you're traveling or if it's in a bag with a lot of stuff in it and it gets smushed, it's not gonna squeeze out and waste a bunch of product. So I think that's really nice packaging. And then I hate to say it, but the slip oil is so nice. Look at my lips. They're just like the cutest pink. Feel hydrated. It's not sticky. It's not slippy. It's like that perfect in between with a slight minty feel. I like the packaging. I think it's super cute and I like the size. I feel like it would work really well in a little purse or handbag. I think that's super cute. $40. <laughs> But I'm glad I just have one. That way I can say I tried it and is it worth the hype? I think there's dupes out there that if you don't want to pay the $40, you're not really missing out. But if you just are a big lip oil person and you like a, like a natural look, definitely check this out. Some fails. I would say that fourth ray coconut lip mask. I like it. I just am really let down that there's no coconut smell. I'm a coconut girl. I love coconut and for it not to have the smell or a scent really let me down. I'm not gonna put any more in this like let me down category because I pretty much liked everything. You know, like the face products, like I like this a lot for a tinted sunscreen. I think that's really nice. The concealer I'll have to try a few times. It is kind of creasing so, but I have like very deep wrinkly under eyes, but it does look really nice. Doesn't feel hydrating even though it says it's supposed to be hydrating. So I'm not sure about this. The brows, I think they're staying. I feel like I, it's just my brows, but you know, I really like that product. I think I just gotta work with it and find what's gonna work best for my brows. Again, my brows are very finicky. They are never happy, but I do really like that product. Can I pull off the fluffy brows? I have no idea. <laughs> This is what we did today. I do have one last thing to mention. This Pacifica scalp oil with the little brush. I used this the other night and it was really nice. It definitely didn't leave my hair or scalp super oily. Like you couldn't tell. Like if you put this in overnight and maybe your next day you're just wearing your hair up, your hair wouldn't look super greasy. So I do really like that. So I'm gonna have to keep trying it. But I think so far it's a really nice scalp oil. And I love this little brush. Okay guys, so that was all the makeup for my last current Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you tried any of these products or have any recommendations, please let me know down below. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more beauty videos by me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.